hey everyone welcome back to another video so for today's video i am going to be doing another did they stay or did they go video and in these videos i update you guys on previous hauls that i have done on my channel and i just kind of chat with you guys about the fragrances letting you guys know what fragrances i have kept in my collection if i have decluttered any and what are my thoughts on those fragrances now that i've had them for a few months so before i get started with today's video if you are new to my channel welcome my name is amy i do videos on fragrance beauty self-care and body care if you like that type of content go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber hey how are you guys doing thank you so much for being here with me today and i appreciate all of the love and the support with that said let's get into this video all right guys so i am trying to do as many of these update videos as i can because i want to catch up with all of the hauls that i've done i'm trying to catch up i'm kind of a little bit behind i'm going to be putting the original video up here i'm going to be putting the link so that you guys can watch it if you would like and i'm going to go ahead and get started on the update so in this haul i had four fragrances that i added to my collection and i'm going to start with dior hypnotic poison it is still here i'm still loving it this one was a love at first sniff for me many people do get a play-doh scent with this fragrance i will say that i can't see that happening um, I don't know if you can see the dent that I have in this one, but it's it's getting there. It's still at the top, but I've used quite a bit of it. This one has coconut, plum, and apricot. It has Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, two rose, rose, and lily of the valley. And then it has vanilla, almond, sandalwood, and musk. And I just feel like this is the ultimate cuddle, fall time, sweater weather stay home and watch a movie type of fragrance cuddle with your man or your boo or your partner whoever you're cuddling with it is just so good it's fluffy it's creamy it's sweet it's a little nutty from the almond and if you don't pick up that play-doh or if you don't mind that then you would love this now i don't pick up such a strong play-doh scent if i really concentrate on that then I might be like, okay, I see what you're talking about. But I get more of a sweetness in here. It's just a comforting fragrance. I feel like this is the type of fragrance that is very popular with men. I feel like my husband loves fragrances like this. It's very sweet. It's almost like you smell like a cookie. You smell edible. It is just scrumptious. That's kind of the word that I think of when I think of hypnotic poison. I don't really reach for this one when I want to feel sexy or anything like that. This one's more like I just want to be sexy, but at home. It's not super seductive to me, but it is still considered like a man killer because they just love these sweet scents. Now, to me, something more sexy and seductive could have a little bit more deepness to it, which this one is missing this one doesn't have any darkness to it or like a mysterious side to me it's just more sweet and just really really nice to wear when you're just cuddled up and just want to smell really good and you don't want anything that's going to be too offensive too strong too like in your face this is just really really nice it's even a really nice fragrance to wear to bed as well i didn't put this one in my bedtime fragrances i have no idea why i feel like my list was so long for that video but this is another beautiful bedtime fragrance as well it is just so comforting and just so sweet and just beautiful this is a beautiful one up next i also got mon guerlain in that video by guerlain and right now at the moment i only have a travel size of it i did declutter the bottle that i got but i kept the travel size and i'm glad that i kept the travel size mongerlan is a very aromatic lavender and vanilla fragrance to me it's a very classy polished put together fragrance 
it's not sexy to me it can be I just feel like it's more of just a beautiful fragrance I think of the word beautiful put together um, just a polished woman and the reason why I got rid of the original one was because I just didn't really like um, the patchouli in it at first and it doesn't bother me as much anymore I was way more sensitive to patchouli when I first started my fragrance journey and I didn't have as many fragrances I would pick up patchouli right away and it would kind of put me off yeah so this one has lavender bergamot iris jasmine sunback rose then you have tahitian vanilla cumarin australian sandalwood licorice benzoin and patchouli and I'm pretty sure that licorice was probably bothering me as well so I went ahead and I purchased the floral version and I am head over heels in love with the floral version it is so beautiful it added that little touch that I needed in the original this is probably my favorite version even though now I'm starting to get more intrigued by all of them I did go ahead and order the intense one yeah, I ordered the Intense and I have the travel size of the original, but this one, oh, it's just so beautiful. I love this one when I just want to go run errands with my husband and the girls, or I want to go have a quick dinner, I want to do some shopping, and I just want to feel calm and just, it's a comforting fragrance to me. Such a ladylike, nice fragrance i love this one and this one the notes are lavender bergamot mandarin orange and lemon middle notes they added floral notes peony jasmine sunbag ylang ylang neroli peach and lily of the valley and then the base notes are vanilla iris and sandalwood so they did add a little bit more floral touches to it that peach in there it just it adds a little bit of something to it like a floral touch but you still have the lavender and the vanilla and the original dna is in this one so i love them both and who knows maybe the original might be making an appearance back in my collection beautiful beautiful fragrance then i in that haul i had Ellie Saab, Girl of Now Forever. I'm going to be putting a picture of it on the screen because I no longer have that one. I decluttered it. That one lasts a lifetime. I will start by saying that. And it is a beautiful fragrance. I loved it when I got it, but I did notice that after wearing it a few times, the lemon peel in that one really started to bother me it started to get a little sharp and just very very present so the top notes for that one are raspberry and lemon peel middle notes are almond black currant rose and orange blossom and the base notes are vanilla patchouli cashmere and musk and reading those notes it makes me want to get it back in my collection but i do remember the lemon peel really really bothering me it was just i didn't like it so i did declutter it I do love the original and the shine version a million times over the forever. I know that a lot, a lot of people love the forever version. Um, I just feel like it's not for me because of that lemon peel, but it is more of like a brighter, um, like a juicier berry type of girl of now. It's not as almond, pistachio, sticky sweet as the original. Uh, so yeah, I decluttered that one. That one is no longer in my collection, but it is very great at longevity It projects very very well and it's still a beautiful scent So if you don't mind that citrusy lemon peel, I'm not really a fan of it because it kind of to me has like a Like a bitter smell instead of like a sweet lemon So it's not really a sweet lemon. It's more of like a bitter kind of like a harsh lemon scent But yeah that is girl of now forever and then the last fragrance that i had in that haul was alien and this is alien fusion which i love this bottle i love looking at this bottle it's just so gorgeous and this one is just hanging on by a thread part of me i've put it into my declutter bin like three times i take it out i put it back on my tray i don't know what i'm doing with this guys i just feel like alien dna it's just not for me 
and i want to love it because i do like the cinnamon that it has um that's really what i fell in love with in that haul i really loved it but in the haul i had only tested it on my hand so it's a little bit more bearable when you do that when i actually wore it like everywhere it was just driving me nuts when i smell it on the test strip it's beautiful i can appreciate it i love the little bit of spice that it opens up with it doesn't last the entire time i wish it did and the cinnamon is not present as much as i would like because of those florals it just overpowers it this one doesn't have jasmine this one has two bros instead so that might be another reason why it's very loud for me but this one has ginger and cinnamon in the opening and that's what i loved about it it's like that fresh spicy opening that it has but it just quickly fades and you have orange blossom and two rolls i love orange blossom so i think the two rolls and the white amber is what's i don't know something in here just really bothers me and you also have vanilla in the base notes which i don't get too much vanilla it's just very strong heady sharp and most likely this is just not going to stay in my collection i might keep it in my collection just to do i need to do my full line review of the aliens that i have tried and the ones that i have but i don't think this is going to stay in my collection and now that i did get to try the armani Privé rouge malachite i can say that they are very similar they vibe so close to being almost dupes for each other but i feel like the rouge malachite is a little bit more wearable for me than this one so yeah this one might be leaving my collection although i adore the bottle and i wish that i could just have that spiciness i'm thinking maybe i should try layering this one with killian uh, angel share i think i'm gonna try that out and see if that blast of cinnamon in that fragrance or maybe even skylar uh fall cashmere maybe that one could do the trick too because i just wish it had a little bit more spiciness in it to make it warm spicy and just distract that those white florals a little a little bit they're just so loud on me and they just i don't know they give me a bit of a headache so that is my update for these fragrances i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for being here with me today comment down below what are your experiences with these fragrances i want to chat with you guys i want to hear from you what are your thoughts and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed i would love to have you stick around for further videos and with that said i will see you guys in my next one i